Newport News Police Chief Richard Myers just wrapped up a news conference about several open cases on the peninsula. One of those cases includes updates on Kier and Chloe Johnson, who've been missing since early May. We've been telling you about the mother and her eight-month-old daughter since they were last seen in April. Let's get right now to Erin Kelly, who just stepped outside of the news conference. Erin? Well, the chief talked about a lot of things in this briefing, but he mentioned that 19 people from six different divisions of the Newport News Police Department have been working on this case, and he said that he was limited in the amount of information he could release. Now, Kier and Chloe Johnson were reported missing on April 30th. Someone found their car in Newport News about two weeks later, and then Hampton Police turned the case over to Newport News Police. According to the chief here, the department has logged more than 25 hundred hours on the case since May and they're working with state, local and federal authorities to try to find them. He says that someone out there knows where they are. Now the chief also today talked about the Violent Crimes Reduction Task Force, some of the progress with seizing firearms. He says 23 guns were seized last month, 16 in May and 17 in April. I also asked the chief about a shooting that sent an 11-year-old boy to the hospital on Monday. You'll hear from him on that and other open cases coming up on Wavy News 10 beginning at 4. For now, we're live in Newport News. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.